exactly 35 years ago, on October the 1st, 1982, for the first time, the Bundestag, then the federal parliament, I'm sorry, the lower house of the West German federal parliament, and now the lower house of the uh, reunified German parliament, passed a so-called constructive vote of no confidence, more specifically against the Social Democratic Federal Chancellor or Prime Minister of West Germany, Mr. Helmut Schmidt. Uh, over budget issues and some other concerns and partly also probably um, or possibly at least according to the late federal chancellor Schmidt uh, because it wanted to make sure that it would continue to be represented in the Bundestag uh, the Free Democratic Party or Liberals wanted to switch coalition partners and most of them voted for the Christian Democratic leader and therefore the official opposition leader, Mr. Helmut Kohl. According to the then West German constitution and now the reunified German constitution, in order for the uh, federal chancellor to be dismissed, an absolute majority of the Bundestag members must vote for the constructive vote of uh, no confidence and therefore simultaneously elect his or her successor. Back then the Bundestag had 497 deputies, therefore 249 were needed to vote in favor of the um, constructive vote of no confidence. It passed with 256 votes, with 235 voting against and 4 abstaining from the vote. And therefore Mr. Kohl began his 16-year term as chancellor. In the midpoint, he then became the federal chancellor of reunified Germany in 1990.